is Abiodun Olaku. I'm an artist, a professional artist, um, special focus on painting. So you can easily say I'm a painter as well. I have a, a basic understanding of general art. A little bit of uh, idea on sculpture and other extended areas of art. I basically build up concepts in painting. So I draw and paint, you know, for a living. After my uh, national service in 1982, I got employed, you know, I, in the Federal Civil Service, you know. I was a cultural officer uh, with the Federal Department of Culture, the Ministry of Information and Culture there. But um, on my sixth year to the seventh year, I just decided I had to leave because I wasn't getting fulfillment, you know. And because I had certain uh, forces to contend with, for example, at the home front, uh, I knew I'd lost my dad early on, so I, I was there with my mom, and I knew she'd be quite apprehensive of that, you know, decision. So um, I didn't let her know. I resigned from employment and um, I've been doing my own thing, you know, I continued my pursuit of, you know, comprehensive practice in art uh, and uh, I only told her, shared the experience with her about nine months after and she, you know, she, she was alarmed. Uh, how, how had I been getting along, you know, without a salary? But as a matter of fact, that period for me, uh, when I look back, still ranks as one of the happiest periods of my life, you know, that, I mean, the, the feeling of freedom was quite heady, you know, quite euphoric, you know. I, I, I felt like I was working on it because I could control everything about my, myself, everything about my intentions. I wasn't running another person's agenda. And because I was convinced about what I wanted to do, I didn't, I wasn't sure, though, about the end result, you know, the returns, you know, in terms of material benefits. If you are going to produce art, um, you need a kind of training, whether formal or informal. In the area of, you know, formal training, you need to go to school to get uh, the adequate grounding, you know, to practice or to play anywhere along the line, you know. So we're talking of maybe uh, professional programs in the higher institution. To get to that level of higher training, naturally you're expected to have your papers at the O level, you know, uh, stage of uh, education to proceed as part of the core subjects needed. You need art to go in, you know, which are, you know, the other regular areas, English, mathematics, and if you had to go to the University of the Polytechnic. My name is uh, Veronica Utubuese. I'm an artist, more into sculpting. I was trained in general art at uh, Adeniro Ugusonya College of Education here in Lagos. I do painting, I do ceramics, and I also do wood carving. Sculpture is gotten from a Latin word meaning sculptura, that is to carve or to engrave. And uh, we have uh, types of sculptures. You have the relief sculpture and you have the sculpture in the round. And under the relief sculpture, it, you can still um, group it. I mean, group it into three segments. You have the um, incised relief. That one has to do with um, chiseling the surface of a flat object. So you see the incision directly underneath the surface of a flat object. And also it's mostly used with the, within the Egyptian era, you see, with their hieroglyphic uh, writing. Then you have the bas relief. Those ones are popularly with the coin, if you are familiar with our Nigerian coin. You see the sculpture there is a little bit raised up. It's not very uh, too, too pronounced. Then you have um, low relief. 
then it's a little bit, the projection is higher a bit than the coin. And then you have a very high relief. In that high relief, the sculpture are almost, almost three dimensional. You know, it shoots out. And you have most of this um, high relief in Benin bronze works. Then uh, sculpture in the round means you can go round, you know, it comes out in different um, um, shapes, either in animal form or human form. But you can assess the work round, you know, and it is three dimensional. Why the relief sculpture is two dimensional? Because you can only assess the, the frontal view. Wood, horn, stone are uh, all had uh, they are uh, permanent uh, materials that you can work with. But though it's hard, when it is wet, it becomes plastic and you can and flexible, so it will be easier to work with. But uh, at the same time, you use the clay also for terracotta, I mean, terracotta that you find in a knock culture. Everything around me that has to do with creation fascinates me. I've been drawing since I was a little girl. You know, and I read a lot of uh, comic magazine. So after reading, I know <laughs> I have to reproduce most of the way. Spider-Man, <laughs> Batman, when I was very young, and my children actually took, you know, took over from me because those are the kind of uh, things that uh, fascinate them. So then when I was young, I read a lot of it and uh, find myself painting some of the characters there. <laughs> I have to let you know how a sculpture works. This is a block of wood. And before you start chipping, you first of all draw your form. It can be an animal form, a human form, whichever form you wish like the sculpting. So you first of all, you drew, let's say you have a face of a female, but this is best, this is a, a flat uh, work that can uh, go for a mask. Then maybe you want to draw a face of a woman with the eyes, the nose, and probably the lips. So this is the first step you have to go. You have to, to draw the female figure first. Then you carry on. So other details might be added much later. Other details might be added much later. So this is just how you start from this block of wood. Then the next process is you take your tools. We have different kinds of tools here. We have flat tools. You have the gorge and the V-gorge. All these are flat tools that you would want to. They are very cheap to purchase. They are not, uh, some of them are locally made. So these are flat tools that you can use. And also you have the V-shaped uh, chisel that you can use to bring out the form, first of all, so that uh, in case of rain or anything, you, the, the big gorge will help to bring the forms out. Then you still have the gorge. They come in different shapes and the sizes. The gorges will help you to dig more into the forms. The recipe that works across the board, you know, um, it's a fundamental thing, you know, if you want to succeed in life. You need to, like I said the other time, fashion a vision that you know you will pursue. Because the journey through life is yours, you know. It's so personal that sometimes you are the only one who feels it. In every profession there is always challenges. As a female sculpture, we have um, lots of challenges. And uh, more so, you know, when the children start coming, you create time, you, that is when you know if you have to continue or if you will stop.